Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Blood and Wine. Uh, we're gonna go see Anna Henrietta. We've kept her waiting, and that's not usually advised, so uh, in we go. We told her that we would come back soon, but uh, this is a little bit longer than soon. But we are here, and that's what's important. Shall we? We all await. You are holding things up. May we depart it's only for been like Ravello. Two weeks, probably. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Okay, forget about morning. We like rested to get to a morning time, but I guess this makes sense. We should leave under the cover of darkness. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Get out! Why do you flee? Are you serious? Come I'm not, back! I'm not You're to fleeing. protect her highness! Okay. Jeez. Didn't this have is to how it's gonna him. be? Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Okay, so the common folk have not recognized her. That's a good sign. But what I will say is they probably don't Panthers see... Panthers have attacked the wagon! We must help! Come on, stay back, Your Grace! We shall see to this! Help! Save us! There we go. What we need is, we need our decoctions. We are not currently rocking. Let's try and kill one at least. Damien, good work there. Done. Pretty much Time did that move on. If, if not for you, we'd have been done for. They were forced Thank you. Died. You saved our lives. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> we must be on now. Goodbye. Maybe. Come on. They're gonna yell at me soon. Don't yell. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be Anything's steward. possible. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Whoa! Captain de la Tour! We did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed kind of you to ask master fabricio i am well your your grace <laughs> we were not warned i shall order the salon prepared at once no no that won't be necessary as you can see we are not here on an official visit naturally might i ask then what has brought you to castel ravello um, an inspection. This is an inspection. 
We've got questions. You'll answer them. And who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Good, because I have I quite talk a few about of them. Sanriel. I am at your service. Be cool with me. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Okay, so uh, you all was accounted manage for. the inventory. The it's barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. How do you transport the wine? Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio. We have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have. Which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, Feisty, I like but her. Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person. Thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. He's gonna change his tune Come, pretty quickly Witcher. when we get back, I think. Ooh. We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. I mean, he owes know. all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castellavera. Look at them all bowing and she goes by. Only then did he come into his own. So they have two gates, one of which is just open. Why even have two? Would be my question. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Mm, vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Imagine they're in order of some kind. Oh. Oh, boom. Ervalus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Oh, we need... Yeah, not Everluce, though. Right? Yeah. Est, est. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. Fiorano? Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palate of his. Pomino. Though Pomino does not enjoy the fame of Est Est or Everluce, it still attracts a considerable number of admirers and remains among the best wines in the world. Few, however, know how close the world came to losing its slightly acrid, surprisingly deep aftertaste. The cause of this averted disaster was Phylloxera mortifera, that is to say, Phylloxera the deadly, a species of aphid whose sudden attack nearly wiped out all existing vines of this variety. 
For many weeks, no one was able to exterminate this pest, and it seemed Palmino was doomed to extinction. In the end, however, the aphids were defeated by Ducal Alchemists, and a carefully selected group of vintners was appointed to ensure its wines took root at Castel Rivello once more. Some experts from the time of the plague claim the restoration efforts introduced cross-contaminants, and never again were they able to extract this or from this grape that same bottomless flavor as before. Pamino? Got Pamino over here. Barrel to okay, here we go. History of Est Est. It's often considered one of the chief treasures of the people of Toussaint. It is best known. It is the best known of the wines cultivated in that region. It is hard to determine when exactly the first barrels of SS were matured, though we can surmise that it must have been around the time of the first human forays into the Duchy's, Duchy's uh, present lands. What is certain is that this wine truly gained fame only during the reign of Duchess Adela Marta, who held Est Est in near divine esteem, and for that reason bestowed upon Castel Ravello the privilege of being the official ducal vineyard. She also reserved a special place in the cellars of Beauclair's palace for Estes, and to this day, two barrels of every vintage are ceremoniously deposited on those shelves. The tapping of any of them is, by order of the Ducal Edict, Vino Sanctus Est, punishable by death through dragging behind a team of horses. Okay, do we have, uh, oh, here we go. Looks like there's something back here. That's very weird. Hmm, okay. Can we try tapping these? Do I have to, like... Do I? Can't seem to equip them. Oh, maybe up top, actually. Hold on, that's why. So I was saying, like, none of those ones that we've even found are the right ones anyway, so here we go. Aha! Sorry, Al. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. But we're on the right track, so this is good. Twelve sixty-eight. Saint Real. Barrels are dated twelve sixty-eight. Close. But not quite the right year. Come on, it's the one at the end here. It's gotta be it. Boom. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. This one is full. This one's full too. Full. You're gonna check one barrel? I'll t don't worry, I got it. This one's full, too. They're all full. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. Yeah, we're Question gonna have to test is, each of them, I think. Are they full of San Real? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. So we already Ready. have those. We can start. 
Step aside. I'll get out of your way, jeez. Doubt it's gonna be so, the first one. Mm, I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. Give this one a shot. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, never mind. Revolting, bitter plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. So... Not sure if he knows about it, but either way, he messed up. You either try to cover or he just doesn't know. I am very disappointed. But your grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I I sold a barrel of Sorial. I beg you to forgive me. Oh, he did it. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I get that. I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Let's get to the Who do you the sell facts. the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Could be lying. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. Well, obviously. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and... Of course. Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready Now to we can deliver. deliver it and surprise them. That could work. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High trees in the charge. Wow. Not good, buddy. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. I mean, I'm ready. Let's go. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. 
You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. This is gonna be good. They're gonna be immediately suspicious when they see a witcher. Relax, now we wait. See the castle in the background there? Well, they're gonna recognize it's not him. It's not him. Whoa, just like that. This should be good. Holy hell. them is it just me or did we agree you'd wait for my signal that was the plan to be fair I don't know if she totally agreed good thing Just you reacted it. can't say how that would have ended otherwise at your service it was a good fight we managed to capture one of the scoundrels let's ask him a few questions come on Witcher a moment I was wrong about you well I mean I kind of get it. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. <laughs> At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Of course she would come. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Keep the arrow in him, too. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Not the smartest Once reply. Again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. Oh, God. Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needed. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? What? <laughs> nice. Sure can. 
fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let them! Well, you Stop better screaming. Start talking. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. Yeah, I can the actually see that. The first barrel That's went fine. to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true, you must believe me. Who hired you? He, he'll kill me. Well. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Looks like you're screwed. Go on, man. Way. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. I believe him. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. It's probably safest for him there, too. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can. But this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. I mean, he could be a middleman. Sooner or later but... everyone slips up. Cintrian stole the San Real. That was his mistake. Yet if we had not happened on the wine stain... Yeah, but we You're did. right. We got lucky. Even so, still can't be sure he's behind the kidnapping, the blackmail. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. That doesn't surprise me. Don't care. Down to business. You learn anything? I will start at the beginning. The port warehouse where the wine was delivered? We identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. 
No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. Okay. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora? I don't think we've heard this before. The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Okay. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Sounds like, uh, what is that? Like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of that movie. Can't think of it. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, oui, Your Grace. Of course she's involved. Get she's not leaving now. I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. Of course. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. <laughs> this feels familiar. Very familiar. Get dressed up. Find a mask. Okay. Um, this will be interesting. So, let's take a bit of a... Uh, let's see be if cautious. Damien... No. Guard her grace closely. Yeah, of course I will. What are you talking about? One-armed Adelard? Pseudonym, one-armed Adelard. Real name, unknown. Appearance, distinguishing marks. Arm cut off from below the elbow. Area of operations. Suspected of forging at least 50 paintings along with their certificates of authenticity. Said paintings can be found in the collections of the private collectors defrauded by Adelard. The forgery was uncovered due to an error on the part of the fraudster. One of his middlemen offered to sell Countess de Boussot, Bellhaven Fields. Uh, the Countess immediately alerted the guard. For he had just tried to sell her a painting, which has been in her family for generations. Cool. Okay, we'll take a bit of a break here. Uh, when we come back, we will try to find some stuff to wear. And uh, rat meet her in the alley, which is a we'll great it. place to meet her. A lady of her stature, you know? But uh, who am I to judge? Mm. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. I should double the patrols. Bye. Justin.